Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, subscribing, commenting on my channel. I really appreciate the support. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about how there are always items in our environment, in our lives, in our daily routine that is kind of calling out to us. It's kind of announcing itself to us as a, a, a snag or something that we need to tweak. And so we need to pay attention to them because they are announcing themselves to us. Now that might not make sense, so I'll explain with an example. Um, this is a very simple example, obviously. So I have, I'm doing an education visa here in Chiang Mai in Thailand, which means that I'm studying Thai, right? And my Thai lessons are twice a week, uh, or sometimes four times a week, actually, depending on, on the days and, and the weeks. And so I'm doing lessons and I love the lessons. I'm learning a new language and I'm actually able to communicate a little bit better with the locals, which is nice. Um, so the lessons are twice a week and, or four times a week. And then in the past, they were at a time that was a little bit uh, confusing and a little bit um, intrusive into my daily schedule. So if you guys know anything about me, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I have a very strict, and I mean very strict, morning routine. It's extremely rigid and I've kept it that way because if I don't keep it that way, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just fall apart and I'll, I won't do anything. Well, that's not the truth. But I like having it rigid so that I don't have to think about it. It's just what I do every single morning. I don't think about it. I don't have to make plans to do it. I don't have to be like, all right, so what am I going to do today? I know exactly what I'm going to do today because that's what I've Done, I did yesterday and that's what I did six months ago and that's probably what I did a year ago as well right so I get, get up I meditate blah 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 so I have a very strict morning routine and this is how I start off every single day those few hours in the morning are so precious to me that I will do anything and I mean everything guys anything anything I avoid relationships because of it <laughs> Oh shit, I shouldn't say that out loud. But I literally avoid relationships because it means that that person might sleep over and that might disrupt my morning routine. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry, but no, that's not gonna happen. Even when I travel with my sister or my family, they know, absolutely know that I have to have at least three hours in the morning to do my morning routine. And that that's just least. If I was really gonna do a long morning routine, it'd be much longer than that. But so I do that morning routine in the morning every single day without fail, no matter what, unless I am dying, Maybe even then I would do it. Unless there's an earthquake and I have to gather my stuff and run, I would still try to get a meditation in. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm half kidding only. All right. So I do this morning routine. It's about, as I said, three hours. So I wake up around six. It takes until about nine. And then I do these videos and then I write my thousand words. And then I go on to some other work that I have to do. I have a routine and a schedule for every single day. Usually... It takes me until about 1 p.m. to finish all my work. So if I start around 6 in my morning routine, I end at 9-ish, and then I work for 4 or 5 hours, so about 4 hours, 4 or 5 hours. So 1 to 2, I'll finish all my work, all my stuff for the day. And then the rest of the day is spent in planning and thinking, reflecting, reading, singing songs, um, playing, etc. You know, things like that. So working out, etc. And so it's still, I guess, kind of work, but not work kind of thing, right? And so I am extremely rigid with that schedule, but I'm also really protective of my time in the morning. And that means that that time, 6 a.m. to 1 or 2 p.m. is precious to me, guys. It's like gold. It is precious because if I get my work done properly and I'm done with my work, I can actually really focus on the rest of my routine and I can do other things. If I don't get my work done, I'm thinking about it constantly. Even if I have to go out for an emergency, I'll constantly be thinking about it. I'll be distracted. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't do my work. I have to go back and do my work. I have to go back and do my work. It's like a refrain that just kind of plays over and over and over again in my head. I cannot get over it. It's so important to me because if I don't do my work today, then it piles up tomorrow and then I already have a lot of work tomorrow. It's a whole scenario. So my, um, my Thai lessons, to come back to that, was actually interrupting my morning routine and my schedule so that I my classes were at 1 p.m. which meant that I had to finish my work faster and if I didn't finish it then I had to do it when I came back after class by that time I was exhausted because I had to go out and interact with people be out in the heat and 
it is just a, there's a lot of go lot going on there so and also learning a new language is extremely tough on the brain um, it's 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 mentally tiring it's mentally exhausting and so by the time I'd come back home I wouldn't be able to work and then so I'd kind of postpone it to the next day and that meant that the next day was really packed with stuff and it would take me until 4 or 5 p.m. to finish all my work and that meant I didn't do anything else I'd be exhausted so it was a whole cycle of madness right and I just I despised it, it made me so angry actually it made me angry not at myself but the fact that my schedule was like that not as a Thai lesson uh, either it's not their fault it's not my fault it's just the way it worked out and so I'd be so angry all the time about Bobby and I spent a lot of mental energy on it, thinking about it, trying to think about it. Oh, how can I fix this? Can I get up earlier? Maybe I can get up at five. Maybe that'll give me a little bit of extra time, but I don't like getting up at five because it's still dark. And I, I like getting up with my natural rhythm, which usually wakes me up around six. That's the natural, my natural rhythm. And I want to follow my natural circadian rhythm rather than kind of pushing it and kind of trying to pummel it into something different. And so that was calling attention. It was announcing itself to me over and over again every week. I think about it. It was something that was a, a problem, an issue in my daily life. Right? And as I said, it announced itself to me over and over again. Now, I realized from a lot of experience, from other experiences with announcements of these kinds, that if you don't pay attention to it, it will stick with you and it will irk you for the rest of your life until it, it exists, right? Until my tie lessons end, whichever, whenever they do, this is going to be an issue if I don't fix it. And I was having a hard time figuring out of a solution for it. Also because I was thinking in terms of what can I do from my end? What can I do? Maybe I can get it earlier. Maybe I can remove some of the work on those days. Maybe I can blah, blah, blah. So I was always thinking about what can I do? I was doing a meditation one morning and all of a sudden I had an epiphany. <laughs> Now, it doesn't seem like it's very important to you guys. Probably it's not important to you guys. But for me, it was really, it was important because it made me realize I could ask my school if they have any other lessons I could take later in the day. Any time later than three would be perfect because it would be, if it was three or five or whatever, I could work until two, until one, two, and then I could go off to my, my lesson. Perfection, right? And so I was like, but wow, why didn't I think about this earlier? because I didn't want to bother them, because I didn't want to be the kind of person who's, who's, who is make, who's demanding, who has all these random things that they want, and who's, who's irksome, who is you know, doing all these random, like a, like a princess. I didn't want to be that person. You know? I was like, they've given me a lesson, let me just kind of stick with it. But I was like, no, this is not working out for me. It's really causing me a lot of angst and a lot of anxiety. So let me figure out if I can have a conversation with them. And it was so easy. I emailed them in the morning, an hour or two later, they said, yeah, we have a class at 3.15. Do you want to join that one? I'm like, yes, yes, I do. And I joined that class. That was the first day of the class. And I worked till around 2 p.m. I had a little bit of food and then I walked to class. And it was a perfect day. All of that announcement that was happening because of this irksome quality of my day was dissipated. It just disappeared. And my day was running smoothly. Right Now, this example was a little bit long, but it demonstrates perfectly how something in your life is always announcing itself to you telling you that you need to fix it now it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a schedule thing for me my schedule is so important it's paramount so a lot of my announcements are based on my schedule but it might be a relationship thing it might be um, a work thing it might be a life purpose thing things are always announcing themselves to you asking for attention because they need to be tweaked or they need to be removed actually in, so, in a certain manner right and so you need to pay attention to these announcements and not think of them as just something on in, as background noise because that's what I did for the longest time I was just like all right fine I guess I just have to get used to it no you just don't have to get used to it all right there's always a solution and there's always a tweak that you can make in order to make your life a little bit more smoother and optimize it there's always a solution guys I know you're probably thinking of a couple of ideas in your head and you're like no there's a solution to that I have to stick with it there's nothing I can do about it well, if you go in with that attitude, there, there is nothing you can do about it. But you have to kind of go in with the attitude that there is possibly, probably, a solution that will be a win-win situation for all parties involved. And this was a win-win for all parties. I mean, for them, they probably didn't even care. But for me, it was perfect. For my schedule, it was perfect. The timing was perfect. The new class is also much more 
um, excited about learning. The, the last class didn't really care. They were there because they had to be. But this class really cares about learning. So for me, it's excitement doubled because I actually can go into a class with students who are motivated, just like me. And that helps in my process of learning the language, um, which is also important to me. So in all of the situations, I found a win-win situation. Right? And it is possible, even if you don't believe so right now, it is possible for you as well to find these win-win situations in your own announcements, in all, your own lives, where something needs to be tweaked. Now, as I said, something perhaps needs to be removed as well. So I've been in situations where I've been part of a group, <coughs> excuse me, I've been part of a writing group, and um, you know, I, I joined it because I thought that would be a good thing for me, and I realized, again, it was kind of irking me, it was part of a schedule it was at noon and it really <laughs> disrupted my workflow um, so I, re I didn't like interrupting myself and going and then coming back as I've said before I, I really despise that I if I'm working I want to work straight through the day and so that was one of the reasons again another reason was I wasn't jiving with the group the people were working on different things and it just it felt like more of a conversation group than working group and I want to join a working group I want to go to a writing group and sit and work. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to be disturbed while I'm doing it. And that made, made me wonder, why am I even going to write in a group? I am already doing it at home. It's a waste of my time. So I unjoined that group, you know, I left the group. And that's again, part of the announcement. It was announcing itself to me weekly because they would send an email saying, all right, so we're meeting up tomorrow. And I think to myself, oh God, I don't want to go. And I thought to myself, all right, you're an adult. Why the hell are you still thinking about going to these things if you don't want to? If it doesn't work with your schedule and with your desires and your goals, then why are you behaving like a child and why are you still making excuses not to go rather than saying, I'm sorry, this is not for me, I, I'm going to leave the group. Be an adult. That's basically what I told myself and I left the group. And again, that mental energy, all of that mental energy that I had been devoting to thinking about it and making up excuses and, and wondering if it was the right thing for me and, and worrying about it, being anxious about it, all of that mental, physical, spiritual energy that I was devoting to that announcement that, that needed to be tweaked or removed, that dissipated. All of that mental energy, I received it back and I was able to use it and I am able to use it now for my creative work. I can use it to make these videos, I can use it to write, I can use it for another billion things that I want to do with my life, rather than worrying about a group that I don't necessarily need to be a part of, or worrying about a timing of a class that can be changed, or worrying about things that sometimes you're thinking, by self, thinking to yourself, why am I worrying about it when I can actually change the situation? Sometimes you can't change a situation, and so at that point, obviously, acceptance is the key. You can't change it, there's nothing you can do about it, so why are you worrying about it? Why are you thinking about it? Accept it. Just accept the fact that that's the way it is. And a lot of my relationships kind of are built in acceptance because a couple of my, a couple of people in my life, they are there. I'm never gonna let them go. They're family. You know, they're they're part of my life. I love them. Uh, they can be irksome sometimes, troublesome other times, but they're part of me, and they're going to stay with me for the rest of my life. And so acceptance is the only way to go about it. I'm, I have to accept who they are. I'm going to stick with them and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to think about it. Just accept them for who they are and how they do things. That's it. Right? So those are the two or three different paths that you can take to these announcements that kind of, kind of speak up in the background saying there's something wrong. There's something wrong. You have to start paying attention to it. You have to change it or you have to focus on it and make some, make some tweak that will enhance your life or optimize your life in a certain manner. And these are actually more important than the bigger announcements like, you know, the fact that I need to get married or I need to change my job or things like that. Those are the bigger ones. And mostly as human beings, we're going to pay attention to those big announcements, right? But it's also more important to pay attention to these ones because they occupy a lot of energy, but also daily energy, right? Daily, you are giving energy to these kind of announcements. And if you could remove that, you know, giving of energy away, then you could get that energy back to do so much more good work. Again, this video is extremely long. I don't know how it ended up this way. It's 14 minutes, yikes. 14 and a half minutes. All right, I hope this makes sense. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know anytime. All my contact information is in the description below. And I shall see you guys next time around. Bye for now.